Hello and today we'll be checking out the WooCommerce show price after login plugin functionality. So basically this uh, plugin allows the uh, WooCommerce uh, platform based web store owners to display the product price and the add to cart button after login. So basically the product price and the add to cart button will not be displayed until the cu customer uh, doesn't log into the WooCommerce store itself and apart from that the admin can hide the price of all of the uh, products for the guest users and they'll have to uh, log in to see their prices uh, of the products apart from that the admin can also provide certain restrictions for price visibility to the catalog page for the for the guest users and uh, this uh, particular plugin is applicable for all types of products like the simple variable grouped external and the product variation products as well so now i'll be showing you the workflow of the uh, plugin itself so right now you can see that i'm on the product page and here we have the uh, button that is uh, login to view the price so you can see that the, the price and the uh, add to cart button are not activated here so uh, if it's a guest customer he needs to tap here register himself and only after that would he be able uh, to with the price and the add to cart button for the uh, products there and uh, uh, for a registered customer he uh, just uh, logs into his account and he'll be able to directly view the uh, what we say as the price and the add to cart button for the respective products so uh, before we proceed further to show you the workflow and the initial configurations for the same please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you like this particular video do give it a thumbs up and uh, we will be appreciating that so uh, right now i'm at the product page as you can see for the woocommerce uh, platform based web store and here we are on the shop page uh, for the same i have not logged in yet so here you can see that here as well we have the login to view the price for the products there so uh, when i where i guess user comes he'll see the uh, option there uh, log in to view the price of the products and uh, this was the shop page and uh, this was uh, the uh, product page now uh, let me show you how uh, a guest customer would uh, be able to view the uh, price and the add to cart button so I'll just tap here and the login to view uh, price button that you can see and that brings up uh, the section uh, to login or register so uh, we'll be registering ourselves so i'll just so here i just need to uh, register so for example i'll be entering my email and i'll be choosing my password and i'll just make that okay and then I'll be just tapping here in the register button. So this is in the case of the guest user. If he wants to view the uh, particular product, uh, uh, what we say as the uh, price and the add to cart, so he'll have to register first. And now if I go to the shop page, you'll see that uh, now we are able to see the uh, add to cart button as well as the price of the products there. And uh, for example, if I go to this uh, shop page again and I refresh it you can see the same the price and the add to cart button now if I go to a product page there as well we will be now able to see uh, the details like the add to cart button and the price of the product itself so that was how a guest customer can uh, view the price and the add to cart button after registration now the same goes for the uh, uh, for the customers as well so for example if I go to my account I'll just log out of this uh, account and I'll be logging into my customer account by entering my username and password for the same and now as a registered customer if I go to the show page I'll be directly able to see the uh, price and the add to cart uh, button there now if I log out again so let me go to my account and log out and in this situation if I now go to the shop page uh, you can see that now we have the button that's the login to view price again and the price is also hidden uh, for 
from the users or the customers uh, there. So uh, basically you need to be logged into the web store for the uh, WooCommerce platform based web store and only after that uh, you, would you be able to waive the price and the add to cart uh, button for the respective products there. Now uh, this was basically the workflow of this uh, plugin that's the uh, uh, WooCommerce show price after login plugin. So now I'll be showing you the uh, backend uh, configuration settings that are required for this particular plugin before making use of the same within your WooCommerce platform based web store. So uh, for that I'll just take you to the admin backend panel. I'll be logging into my admin backend panel for my store by entering my username and the password and uh, after login uh, you can see on the side panel we have the show price after login option here so after the successful installation of this particular plugin you'll have the show price after login so if i tap on the uh, show price after login uh, option here so we'll have the configuration details for the show price after login so from here uh, the admin can enable or disable uh, this particular functionality for his store uh, by checking or unchecking check to enable uncheck to uh, disable the particular functionality and uh, if I uh, uncheck that and uh, for example and uh, thereafter I'll just tap here in the save button and then you can see that uh, we are able to uh, whip the products along with the add to cart button and the price for the same so uh, now let's go back to the admin backend panel so uh, for now we'll be uh, enabling the uh, show price after login functionality and then we have the enable product settings uh, and uh, basically the ed, uh, enable product settings is used for the product based restrictions to hide the price of, for the guest users so uh, if you want to restrict the uh, product price and the add to cart button for the guest users then you need to check this particular option otherwise to disable it you just need to uncheck the same then uh, you can see the uh, other option here is uh, allowed products for all users so uh, from here we can add uh, the uh, products as well so uh, I'll just uh, choose the allowed products for all users so uh, the product that I've chosen here uh, this would be uh, visible along with the add to cart uh, button and the price to the customers or the guest users so allowed products for all users you can choose uh, other products as well that you do not want to uh, for which you don't want to hide the price and the add to cart button and uh, you can just uh, easily uh, select multiple products here then we have enable category settings so uh, these settings are used to uh, for the category based uh, restrictions uh, so as to hide the price from the guest users so uh, if uh, you want to have the uh, category settings so you'll just uh, check this particular option here and then you can also choose uh, under that uh, the allowed categories for all of the users so whichever uh, you, whichever category you have chosen here that would not uh, have that functionality on that so this would be uh, visible and accessible with the price and the add to cart button for all of the users be it a guest or a um, or a registered uh, customer there so here's the example for the same so i've uh, i'm on the share shop page and here you can see that for these uh, products we have the option login to wave price but for this one we don't have the add to cart price that's the flying ninja so uh, after that we have the enable uh, stock uh, settings and uh, from here uh, you'll be able to use the stock based restrictions to hide the price for the guest users you can check that up to enable the stock settings otherwise to disable just uncheck that particular one then you will be able to uh, set up the allowed minimum stock for all users so uh, the minimum stock for all users so you can set the uh, count there uh, for the uh, products and uh, thereafter we have the enable price settings so you can check that option here and uh, basically the enable price settings uh, will help to use the price based restrictions to hide the price from the guest users so enable price setting would uh, basically uh, restrict or hide the price uh, from the guest users 
then we have the allowed minimum price for all users so uh, this would uh, the amount that you would have uh, entered here would be the minimum price for all of the users and uh, from here we can also enable the date settings okay and uh, thereafter we have the product created from so we can choose that up uh, as well and uh, product created to uh, values so actually uh, I have to choose this one and this one that's correct now so uh, after we have uh, checked the enable uh, date settings and uh, for this uh, let me uh, tell you about this the allowed minimum price for all uh, users so basically uh, the price uh, of the products whose uh, uh, whose price are greater than or equal to the entered price uh, would be visible to the guest users and uh, thereafter uh, we just come back to the uh, enable uh, option uh, that's the uh, product created from so uh, here uh, you'll have to choose the uh, created from and created to date to values and uh, the price of the products which are created before the entered date are visible to the uh, guest users for the product created to and for the product created from uh, the prices of the products which are created after the entered date are visible to the guest users so you can restrict it according to the product created from and created to values as well and uh, thereafter we have the enable product type settings you can choose that up as well and uh, this setting actually uh, uses the product type base restriction to hide the price uh, for the guest users and uh, then we have the allowed product types for all users so here the admin can select the product types like simple uh, variable uh, product variation external uh, grouped or whichever product types are there so uh, these are the allowed product types for all of the users and so these products will uh, be visible to the gas users at the storefront along with the add to cart button and the price then uh, we have the enable product sale settings so uh, the price of the products which are on sale or off sale are also visible to the gas users by checking this option so if I take you back to this particular one here you can see that there's a discount on this particular uh, product and uh, the add to cart and the price is visible to the customers there then we have the allowed products by sale so here the price of the products which are uh, basically on sale products or off sale products you can choose one of the options so if you choose it as on sale uh, uh, products then these would be the allowed products uh, by sale then we have the enable product review count settings so uh, here the admin just needs to check this option and uh, the admin can show the price for the guest users on the basis of the product review count settings so if you want to have the product review count settings uh, so as to display the products for that you can check this option and lastly we have the allowed minimum product review count uh, for all users so here the price of the products uh, whose uh, review co counts are greater than or equal to the visible uh, basically the price of the products whose uh, review counts are greater than or equal uh, would be visible to the guest users and lastly you just need to tap here in the save button uh, to save the uh, initial configuration settings for the uh, show price after login for the WooCommerce platform based web store and uh, and uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webquill.com or you can raise a ticket at webquill.uvdesk.com you can also contact us through uh, www.webquill.com forward slash contact and lastly if you find this uh, web video helpful do give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching this particular video and uh, have a great day ahead.